Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to order the rows of a data frame according to a vector using the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object appears which is called data. And if you click on this data frame object, a new window opens, which is showing the structure of our data frame. So as you can see, our data frame contains five rows and three columns, x1, x2, and x3. In addition to this data frame, we also need to create a vector according to which we can sort the data frame. And this is what we are doing in line six of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new vector object appears, which is called vec. And we can print this vector object to the RStudio console by running line 7 of the code. And then you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that we have created a new vector object which is containing five different character values. Now let's assume that we want to sort our data frame based on this character vector and based on the column x2. Then we can apply the code that you can see in line 9. And in this line of code, I'm specifying the name of our data frame. Then I'm opening square brackets. And then within these square brackets, I'm applying the match function. And within the match function, I'm matching the values of our vector with the values in the column x2. And then I'm storing the output of this in a new data frame object, which is called data new one. So if you run line 9 of the code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame appears, which is called data new one. And if you click on this data frame, you can see that our data frame was reordered according to the values in the vector that we have created before. So as you can see at the bottom, our vector was ordered by the values B, E, A, C, and D. And now our entire data frame is also ordered according to this vector as you can see in the second column because the second column is also ordered with the values b e a c and d so in this first example i have explained how to order our data frame according to a vector using the basic installation of the r programming language however i want to show you another example which is based on the deep layer package because the dplyr package is a very powerful and a very popular package when it comes to data manipulation in R. So if we want to use the functions of the dplyr package, we first need to install and load the dplyr package, as you can see in lines 11 and 12 of the code. I have installed the package already, so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 12 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the dplyr package, such as left join, as you can see in line 14 of the code. And within the left join function, I'm specifying that I want to create a new data frame, which is containing the column x2. And the values of this column should be equal to vec. Then I'm also specifying the name of our input data frame that we have created in the beginning of the video. And then I'm specifying that the column based on which I want to match our data frames should be the column x2. And then at the end, I'm also storing the output of this in another data frame object, which is called data new2. So if you run lines 14 to 16 of the code, you can see that another data frame object appears at the top right of RStudio, which is called data new2. And if you click on this data object, a new window is opened, which is showing the reordered version of our data frame. As you can see, the left join function also reordered the columns of our data frame because now the column x2 that we have used to order our data frame is at the first position and the columns x1 and x3 are at the later positions. However, the important point is that the rows of our data frame are now reordered according to the vector that we have created at the beginning of the tutorial. So in this video I have explained in two examples how to reorder the rows of a data frame 
based on the values in a vector using the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the R programming code that I have used in this video in some more detail and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, in case you have liked this video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.